Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I've decided why not try a little bit more of Xbox emulation and show some progress there, in this case specifically with CXBX Reloaded, which just yesterday launched a brand new version. So, we will be testing out, with this version, Blinks the Time Sweeper, which I've heard actually has had some improvements since I've last had a look. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. And I'm not sure if I've actually did any videos where I showed, because previously it wasn't really, the state of the game wasn't really good enough to actually show off in a full video, I don't believe, but now it does seem to be, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so we'll just load the game up. Select this load, which is fine. Go to the first stage. Now it's going to take a little bit of time just to get started because... And you can see there's already some frame rate issues. However, it is specific to... It seems to be due to the number of objects that it's rendering. Uh, so if I go over, look over this way, the frame rate significantly improves. Let's pause this so we can get in here and get this little secret. We already got that, but that's fine. So the idea behind this game is you're a time controlling cat that goes around saving this particular world from various monsters. It's a platformer mascot game during towards the end of that particular era of gaming, so it was Microsoft's big try for it. And to be fair, it is actually a fun game. You have to a little bit difficult, admittedly. Okay, so we can get ourselves another crystal. Perfect. Now we step on the switch here to cause the door to open. We have more frame rate issues, and as you can see, there's also missing objects here and there that can make it a little bit difficult to actually play this game right now, which is a little bit of a problem. So, which is why I don't really think it is ready right now to actually play, but or actually do serious emulation with. But if you're curious, uh, this is one of those games I do think is worth keeping an eye on. So I do think it is going to improve very substantially, probably. Let's pick up some money here. As you can see, we have another case of we're not sure where the stuff is, so we have to be careful. We already have our max number of time crystals, but that's okay. And now we get to the game. And that is the end of that mission. So it gives us a good time to show what the game's like. It is not quite ready for people to do. A it's not really playable at this point, but you can get in game and play through it a little bit. But the problem is the missing objects include things like gates, switches, and stuff like that. That can be a little bit tricky if you're not familiar with the game already. So that's a problem. Which is why I don't really, th and that combined with the frame rate issues that it does have every now and then is enough for me to say it's not quite ready yet for, for me to really say it's playable, but you can get in game and try it out a little bit if you so choose. But uh, yeah, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. <laughs>